This is Dave Potter with the Catskill Regional Teacher Center and in this video I'm going to show you how to use one of the sensors that we have purchased for the Teacher Center as a resource and that is the uh, Pocket Lab. Uh, Pocket Lab is basically a bunch of sensors on one little unit that connects up with an Android or iPad or any kind of mobile device that has the Android or iOS uh, application software and what it allows you to do is to collect not only data in real time but also you can collect video footage with the data so that you can actually see and compare the data with what you see so I'm gonna go ahead and get this going so that you can see it and basically I'm gonna let you see through the camera what, what the device looks like. Um, essentially, this is uh, Pocket Lab right here. In Pocket Lab, you'll notice it's, it's very tiny. It's not that big. Uh, it's got plastic casing around it. You can put a, a strap or a lanyard through there so that you can connect up to uh, anything that... Um, will allow it to uh, be strapped. You can duct tape it and I've got one right now that's working you'll notice there's a light blinking and it's got like a, a black rubber silicon type coating on it case to keep it from being damaged. So I'm gonna go right now to the app and the app is just called Pocket Lab. You can download it for free um, once you get the product, there is no extra fee, uh, but you'll be able to borrow this from the teacher center. So you notice right away the app is opened up to video and uh, data being collected. I'm going to change that graph to just video in the corner and the graph you could see much bigger. Also, you can change what kind of data you collect. You can do two graphs in one. You can collect acceleration, projectile speed, which is kind of like a rocket, uh, altitude, angular velocity, which is good for doing some data with people that like ballet or twirling, um, magnetic field, and temperature. We're using pressure let me change my graph again and we're going to use this one right here you notice I've taking, taken my pocket lab and I put it in a plastic bag and the plastic bag has air in it so we can do uh, sense different weights with it so when I put my hand down on it you'll notice that the data will go up or increase when I take my hand away it'll eventually decrease and go back down so this is a lab that I found off of the internet that one can use to basically show how to use uh, the pocket lab uh, this can be paired up with like I said before Android devices or iOS devices like an iPhone or iPads at the teacher center we do have a class set of iPads that can be used with these sensors. We have 10 of the pocket lab sensors and I'll go ahead and show you that there's a whole bunch of different um, labs that you can get from pocket lab. If you go to their website www.thepocketlab.com hit on uh, educators and it shows you a collection of the curriculum some of these are made by the people at pocket lab and some of these are made by teachers the one in particular that um, I'm using is this one it's a PDF that you can download and you don't necessarily have to use their labs you can use your own as well uh, so this was use ratios with pocket lab to find the weight of unknown objects and this is the one that I actually 
uh, use for this demonstration just to show you what it looks like. Uh, th there's some videos on here, there's user guides, there's all kinds of things on their website to help you uh, with any kind of lab that you might want to do. So again, this is Pocket Lab, something that you could use with the resources of the Teacher Center, including the iPad setup. Thank you.